if you strangers want to get one of your own to support this channel, then click the link in the description to get your own merch. We got t-shirts, long sleeve hoodies, tank tops, and the best part, you can get them in different colors. Huh? You want a striped one? What kind of weirdo would wear a striped one? Go on, get yours today! Does... Does Hunter live in the dragon world now? No! We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Every last one? How long did that take? Also, what a bitch that you happened to step on Hunter just as you were carrying that last egg. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. Hold up, so a lawn chair is light enough to be carried by two fairies, but a dragon egg is too much? Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Here's an idea. Why not dig bigger holes? That way all the dragons could aid in retrieving the eggs. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. You mean like this cave which is in plain fucking sight? Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. You mean the expertly trained army that cowers in fear at the very sight of Spyro? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Calm down, Beyond Credible Hulk. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. Where was this information in the last game, you dick? No, but legit though, why is there just a randomly giant chicken in this level? Wait, how the hell- It's not so much that he killed the chicken and is using its leg as a weapon, which... Yeah, okay. But more so, how did he manage to rip the leg off the chicken, deep fry it, dispose of the rest of the body, and take a bite out of it before we got here? Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. Money bags. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Money bags is a greedy whore. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. You know, I don't know how I didn't question this before, but how does Moneybags keep his monocle on? Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Takes his egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Okay, so not only do I question why would Sheila help you perform this prank, but how does egging his house make up for butting you off a cliff? Whoa, how are some of the dragons born with glasses on? I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp the huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the triangle button in the air. You remember how to stomp, don't you? Okay, maybe cut the audio where you need to, guys. Thanks for the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Wow, awesome job hiding the eggs, guys. Places we'll never find them in a thousand years, huh? What? Marco sent you here? I've got a restraining order against him. Um, why does that information cause an egg to appear? I didn't realize restraining orders were magical. Why is Hunter wearing pants suddenly? The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. Moneybag is a greedy whore. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our Lava Fusion Cauldron and three Sun Seeds. Lava Fusion and Sun Seeds? Why do the Sun Seeds need sunglasses if they have no eyes? Heck, how do they stay on their faces? Now that's what I call a sun. I wouldn't. It has no gravitational pull and nothing is burning up around it. That's just a spotlight with a face. Be sure to keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. Yeah, that makes sense. Here, take this egg. 
They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. They were giving them away? So how many more are there here? While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. And then they took it for a joyride. And, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuffed my friends in the jail behind you. This is legitimately the only time I sympathize with the Rhinox. The only reason they're fucking with this world is because they were fucked with first. Oh, hi, Spyro. Some of my SEAL friends are trying to take down a Rhinox fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinox in the morning. Are you gonna singe them with your feet? You kind of lost me there, Sheila. <laughs> I can't believe I survived that blast! It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Okay, idiot, several things. One, if you knew the place was gonna blow up, why the hell would you stay inside the fortress? Two, if you thought you might die, which three, I guess you should have, but two, if you thought you might die, why did you keep the egg in your pocket? Four, how the hell do you keep a big ass dragon egg in your pocket? Five, what fucking pocket? Wow, that's the first time Bluto has ever lost. You got a lot of talent for someone so purple. That's... racist? I really don't see how being purple has any bearing on how talented someone is. This egg has surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. How are we able to bring back the egg? Isn't the tunnel a one-way thing? Isn't that why it was stuck and couldn't be retrieved? Wait, Sparks can talk? Since when? Woohoo! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted this egg! Why would Space Sheep want to abduct a dragon egg? Are they siding with the sorceress? I really just said that sentence. I think I'm having a stroke. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. Wait a second. Why are we stopping here at all? Couldn't we just go straight to Midday Gardens? There's nothing really stopping us. This isn't much of an ambush if we can just fly over Buzz. Also, who did you hear that we were getting ambushed from? Also, also, how did you get here before we did? Why aren't we using Sheila's method of transportation? Seems way faster. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. Moneybags is a greedy whore. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state of the art. So why didn't you use them to escape? <laughs> Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. You do not have limited ammo. Mission accomplished. It's great to have you back, sir. Uh, no, mission not accomplished. There are still Rhinox in the base, and I haven't freed all the hummingbirds yet. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Moneybags is a greedy whore. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. But... won't the effects of the supercharge affect the thief too? Since when the f can Sparks do this? Why hasn't this little asshole been helping us out more before? Also, didn't Zoe say that Sparks was the only one able to retrieve the egg in the crawdad's nest? Zoe's f***ing smaller than Sparks! And guess what? She has hands! How the shit is Sparks supposed to retrieve the egg if he can't even carry it? How heckin' tiny is this dragon if it's smaller than Sparks? Hey, Spyro, Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? Why don't you try throwing it at it? You're about as tall as the damn thing. Hell, you could probably just jump and smack the target. Behind this door is the single greatest show on Earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. Moneybag is a greedy whore. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Rhinek khaki players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Did you ever think that maybe you're hogging the ice for them? I mean, it doesn't really look like a hockey rink, but all they want to do is play some hockey. We did it! That was my best performance ever! I guess one of the judges didn't like it, though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? What judges? Who is watching? Where did the roses even come from? 
Also, what's the big idea? Oh, you get to keep all the roses and I get the egg you thought was insulting? I'm getting real sick of your shit, Nancy. <laughs> I put up ice blocks this morning so Bab wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. It's a pretty heckin' big lure, Doug. Also, it's an egg. How did you even manage to get it hooked on your fishing rod? Thanks. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I- Oh yeah, remember that audio glitch in the last game? Yeah, this game has it too. What, you weren't sick of Sergeant Bird's theme? Here's another level that has the same music. Oops, I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. For what goddamn purpose would you have possibly hidden the egg inside the statue? Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the X button. I'll show you how to do it once, then it's your turn. Wait, why are we just learning this now? This is the second world of the skateboard section. Neither of them is mandatory. Wow, you learn really fast. Then again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing a nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. You mean this nearly impossible move that I keep pulling off by accident? Hashtag humble brag. I was playing catch with my pet wolf Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless. Sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Now, I know games aren't necessarily for kids, but how many people did they really think were gonna get that reference? They're referencing the book Never Cry Wolf, an account of a Canadian author about his observance of wolves in a subarctic environment. That author's name? Farley Mawat. Insomniac, you clever bastard, but you made me look up a book! My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no, he started his bone dance again. How is that oh no worthy? Also, how did you get here from Skelos Badlands and Avalar? The song ended seven years ago, dude. That gator was mean. I thought I was a gunner. Thanks for saving me. None of the haikus here ended in snowing on Mount Fuji. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. Even though you can skip this payment, Moneybags is still a greedy whore. Yes, it's booming time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. Yeah, remember that alchemist shit in the last game? Well, they gave us a double serving in this one. Uh, why exactly did we just kill Rhinoch? He wasn't hurting anyone. Dude was just trying to sleep. Hey, you'd want to kill someone that just woke you up in the middle of the night too. That Rhinoch was innocent. You bumbling, idiotic, worthless fool! Wait, what? Where'd this cutscene come from? Yeah, in the original Black Label release of this game, this cutscene doesn't even play. It only plays in the Green Label version. My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here. Oh, so we're not even given a good reason as to why you know we're getting attacked? How is it that this flame power-up weakens Spike, but our normal flame doesn't? I don't know how to tell you this, dude, but fire is fire. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Moneybag is a greedy whore. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Moneybag is also apparently blind. <laughs> huh. Pretty convenient that that was the only icicle that fell. Another gong! Great! I bet we could cause an avalanche with this one! Yeah, that's not dangerous. Let's do it. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. What the hell do you need a jetpack for? Why not use your wings from the last game? Why do you even have a jetpack? Excellent work, Sparks. And I see that you've gained another new ability. Now if you hold down the L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons at the same time, Sparks will point to any treasure still hanging around. Oh, you mean an ability he had naturally in the last game? Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox, but with these flippers I can't even turn it on. Moneybags is a greedy whore. 
Also, did he install the laser defense system himself? Was it already placed? How did they go about this? It would be easy to get up to that treasure if he had something to stand on. Fat Dumb Yeti took my ball! I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen! Oh, I know you do it! Go and show him not to mess with us! Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Sounds like Bartholomew should be the one fighting. As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. Moneybag is a greedy whore. Well done. I think you deserve to keep the Champions Cup. <laughs> Why is this the Champion's Cup? Is the cup always an egg? Was that dragon born with a sheep costume? Why was that dragon born with a sheep costume? Oh, hello! It's good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. How come Greta only pronounces half of her R's but not the other half? In the last game, her lack of R's was pretty consistent. This time, not so much. Uh-oh. You have to use this combo power-up to take out these fire dragons. And why exactly are we taking out the fire dragon? uh, dragons? Here, have this! I fished it out of the molten lava. Handel clearly says lava, but the subtitles read lava. Also, how do you fish something out of molten goddamn lava? I think I could see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way round through all these white ox to get to it. Or I could just jump on your head, you could jump on mine, or you could just jump by yourself because you're a freaky super child with incredible abilities. We interrupt Spyro the Dragon to bring you the Matrix. Hmm. Ah! Man, it sucks that you just happened to hit the button the position the sorceress wanted you to, because there's a whole area over here where you could have been completely fine. Not to mention she was probably expecting someone else to reach over and press it, because there's no way she would have captured Spyro if he had just stepped on it. But these here waters used to be my favorite diving spot. Uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? So, what you're telling me is that you want me to pilot the submarine and get rid of the other submarines because you... can't pilot the submarine. I'm sorry, I just failed to see why you can't get rid of them yourself. So, why did Bianca suddenly decide to take her hood off? The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Moneybags is a greedy whore. Isn't Prince Azriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azriel says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. How could I? You haven't told me where you're going. Lope is not a place. Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. So, not only am I wondering how these two met, but why exactly do they find each other attractive? Why is there a recurring theme of fairies wanting to date animals? Are there no male fairies? I don't think these are questions I should be asking during a Spyro game. You did it, James. I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. Why do they want to have a date in the temple so badly anyway? There's nothing in there. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. <laughs> Aha! I knew Zoe was full of shit! How did Isabel manage to carry around this egg with her, huh? I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. Money bag is a greedy whore! <sighs> I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. What the fuck did you want the magic seeds for if you can just jump up here? At last, I found the legendary Golden Goose. You found it? Bitch, we got here first! Um, why are you apostrophe R-E as you are? 
Y-O-U-R is your. Uh, uh, wait, wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. So then why did they attach one of the eggs to a rocket? I can't believe I ever listened to you! Stupid insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Why not right now? I mean, you have her right here. Yes. Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. If I can find more of the dragon eggs? You're the one who hid them! If you want to help so much, start by bringing them to me! You're the one who knows where they are! Well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. Moneybags is a horror of the greedy variety. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. Wait, you have an island laboratory? Since when? Don't you live in Avalar? Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Uh, now I can resume thinking. Yes, because you needed a whole laboratory for that. F this level, f this level, f this level, f this Doom style sh and everything it stands for. Help! It's a bug! Oh my god! Handel is the worst secret agent! Look out, Spyro! There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me! I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge! So just give me the dragon egg, you idiot! Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the, uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem. But, uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. If you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean, you greedy whore. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. I spend all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Suddenly Tomb Raider. Shh! Spyro, don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it, it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Wow. Uh, why exactly am I helping you guys? You're the assholes here. Sure, you're stealing from the villain, but you're f***ing up an entire ecosystem in the process as well as the creatures native to it. You guys don't deserve my help. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the, uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first for my expenses, you understand. You can call them whatever you like, you're still a greedy whore. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? You know, for a game that has an obscure reference to Never Cry Wolf by Farley Mowat, you sure make your riddles easy by having the answer be the only one that's not numbered. Why was this dragon born with balls? That he's juggling? You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. Seven thousand years for someone to solve that riddle. But the eggs were just stolen recently. What would you have given me before the eggs were taken? One of those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? You do realize you can check yourself, right? It is a pretty long tail you have. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged, and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. Yeah, yeah, I know video games, but realistically, what sense does that make? If the sheep swerves, just make a beeline to it. <laughs> Time to kick some sorceress butt. Uh, okay, is that it? No pre-battle banter, not even a little dialogue from the sorceress, nothing? 
I gotta say, this is one of, if not the most anticlimactic final bosses ever. And what makes it worse is this music. This is a Sunrise Spring theme. You know, the first homeworld we were in? The Black Label version of this game has some major music issues, meaning that some of the original tracks go straight up unused. But this is the biggest offender. Talk about unfitting. <laughs> Uh, how? It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. You mean in your own laboratory? By a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So... Suddenly, Alora. <laughs> Man, I love their chemistry. She tries to kill him, he saves her life, she gives him an apple and refuses to let him escape. Yet somehow still a better love story than Twilight. I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Hey to break it to you, but Hunter really wasn't helping out that much. Just before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight sparks. Really? The sorceress knew about sparks? I somehow doubt she'd give much of a damn. Get rid of Spyro, you get rid of sparks. Don't worry, Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I, uh, uh, I, I've got to be going now. Uh, toodles! I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it, I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. Says he's becoming a haiku poet in Spooky Swamp, leaves through Crystal Islands. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Uh, how did she even know we'd come here? Why doesn't she have any burn marks on her? She fell in freaking lava! Wow, they really didn't know how to end it, did they? Why does that Rhinoc have nipples? Princess Amy? Didn't she elope with Prince Azrael? What a greedy whore. Hey guys, Char i 5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinnamon 6 parody of Everything Wrong with Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. The Reignited Trilogy comes out real soon, so I just had to cover my favorite game in the Spyro series. I've been playing this game ever since I was a child. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month. To those who already do support me, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Spyro 2? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Charai5, signing off. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto and Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went to hell. <laughs> Five, what f***ing pocket? <laughs>
I forgot that was the ending. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm an asshole for laughing that much at my own joke, but... 